Okay. All right, um, we'll go over some, we'll start with some homework questions and then um, we are gonna do a quick uh, assessment, see where you guys are at so far. And then um, we'll finish up our 4.2. I'll give you some time to start on the 4.2 homework um, and ask some more questions. And then with our last 10 or so, 10, 15 minutes of class, we're gonna actually start 4.3 um, so that we can actually finish it on Wednesday during our half day. So, um, so yeah, let's get this going here. Um, number 19, they asked us to do this without using a calculator. So to do this um, at this point, probably uh, most of you are gonna need to turn this into radians unless anybody happens to have memorized what a pi over three angle looks like. Anybody got that memorized yet? What is, how many degrees is it? Six, oh, so a lot of you have already memorized that. Okay, good. So that's 60 degrees. If you didn't know that, you could always use that method that we did in um, in class last week, multiplying by either pi over 180 or 180 over pi to convert it, but it is 60 degrees. So to accomplish this problem, are you with me? You asked about this one. To accomplish this problem, we're gonna need to be looking at a triangle with a 60 degree angle, and hopefully you're recognizing that that is one of our special right triangles that we're gonna have a quiz on Friday. That's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And at this point, you should be getting pretty close to memorizing the two different forms that I asked you to, to memorize those. We'll practice this on our little quiz today too. Um, so I need you to know that this, one way that you can do it, the simplest way would be one, two, and root three. That's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. One, two, and root three. So knowing that, then um, if we're talking about 60 degrees here, we should be able to label our hypotenuse, our opposite and our adjacent, and use our knowledge of SOCA TOA to figure out what the fraction is going to be over here, which would be, you can go ahead, um, just going to be opposite over hypotenuse is root 3 over 2. So 21 and uh, 23 end up being very similar. Um, it, they, all of those problems in that section are either 30, 60, 90 or 45, 45, 90. All right, if, I'm gonna give you some even problems from the same section of practice with for your homework for tonight. Even numbered problems do not have answers in the back of the book. How could you check your answer to make sure it was correct if this were an even numbered problem? Use your calculator, right? The sine of pi over three. Now, pi over three is radians, correct? So we, I would want to switch my calculator into radian mode first. And then I could type in the sine of pi over three. Get an answer of 0.866 and then type in my answer. Root three over two and hope for the exact same decimal. Oh, look at that. Feeling pretty good about that. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Great question. Does it matter which side is root three and which side is one? And absolutely it matters. Smallest side has to be across from the smallest angle. Largest side has to be across from the largest angle. So two is the biggest of all of those. One's the smallest root three is the, the medium sized one. So if you can remember that fact, that root three is the medium size one, then that'll help you get those all in the right order. All right, let's move on to 41. In 41, they told us that the sine of theta was equal to one half. And they asked us to figure out what theta was without using a calculator. And we're gonna use the same idea that we just did in 19. I need to think about my special right triangles and I need to pick one version of it that has a one and a two in it. Can you think of a special right triangle that does have a one and a two in it? One, two, root three, the one that we just did has one and a two in it, doesn't it? All right, so let's draw that triangle again. Uh, that's 30, 60. All right, we know that the, that the two is the longest, that's gonna be the hypotenuse. Which one's shorter, one or root three? One is smaller, isn't it? So it needs to go across from the smallest angle and then root three is gonna go here. 
Now, I want to be able to write a sine equation where it's one over two. I know that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And that's looking pretty good because my hypotenuse is two. Which angle do I want to be looking from if my opposite side is going to be one? The 30 or the 60? If I want my opposite to be one and my hypotenuse to be two, this will never be 90 for right triangle problems. So if, if I choose 30 as my reference angle, then one would be the opposite and two would be the hypotenuse. So theta must be 30. You get how, why it's 30. And then they want that in radians too. Do you guys have memorized what 30 is in radians? If you do, it's gonna make your life much easier. That's pi over six. All right, any questions on 41 or 19? Kind of the same idea. We're just using our 30, 60, 90 triangles. Some of those problems you're also using 45, 45, 90s. All right, 65 was a word problem. I just drew the triangle. It's, a, it's the one about the surveyors in the lake. Um, and this is just your run of the mill basic um, right triangle trig problem. We've got an angle, we've got one side, we're solving for the other side. Um, are we gonna use sine, cosine, or tangent to write this equation? We got opposite and adjacent, so this would be a tangent equation. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, so it'd be X over 100. And in here, we're gonna have 75 point something. Now, I prefer not to type all this mess into my calculator, so can we generate a decimal version of this angle without the minutes and degrees, or sorry, the minutes and seconds? We should be feeling pretty confident about doing that. That we can just type straight into our calculator. I wouldn't need to see any work for this on the test, but. It's 75 plus 12 over 60. Correct, because there's 60 minutes in every degree. And then plus 42 over 3,600, because there's 3,600 seconds in every degree. And it gives us that big old fun angle. And I think I'm probably going to stow this because it's a long decimal. And I want to round it off and have some errors. So I'm going to stow that. You guys remember how to stow, store an answer above the on button here? I'll stow that and call it, what angle is it? That's angle B in my picture, so alpha B. And then we just have to solve the equation. So I'd clear the fraction, multiply by 100 on both sides. And now we get X by itself. And then I can do 100 times the tangent of that angle, which I have stored in B, so 100 tangent of B. We're looking for, uh oh, what's went wrong here? That doesn't make sense, does it? What did I forget to do? I'm, I did just use my calculator in radian mode just a minute ago. Yep, I probably should have checked that before starting the problem. So switching back to degree mode comes out to about 379 ish. And that seems reasonable for the information they gave us. Any other questions from homework? So you got two assignments you're showing me today, right? 4.1 and, cause I didn't check 4.1 last time. So 4.1 and 4.2 part A. Um, which page did uh, 4.1 start on? 356, okay. All right. 